Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style. Today is Friday, end of the trading week. And uh, let's talk about daily stock market update. And we will figure out, is it still bearish trend? What's going on with the stock market world on a daily time frame? As usually, let's move to my five rules of risk management. Please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful. Now it's the time for trading view. Let's start from stock market heat map based on all, all USA companies, market cap, daily performance. It looks like all sectors kind of green. Green. It is positive day. Very positive day, right? Now let's move to my watch list and we will do technical analysis review. And uh, if you want to learn more about trading view setup, just go to the description. There is the link about trading view setup training and other links about all my trainings. Now let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using simple moving averages, white line SMA 200, purple line SMA 100, blue line SMA 50, yellow line SMA 20, red line SMA 10, green line SMA 5, below yellow line RSI line and Heikonachi bars. That's all very simple. It's not easy because emotions involved. If you follow the indicators, you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions. <laughs> like on my chart, you see green red circle when SMA5 green line did bullish crossover over red. It was bullish. I'm sorry. Red line, red circle, sell signal. SMA5 did bearish crossover over red line. It was entry for bearish trend. See bars move below SMA5. When SMA5 green line did bullish crossover about over SMA 10 red line, it was entry for bullish trend, green circle. As of now, USA dollar is still positive, positive, but not confirmed bullish trend because last bar is still below SMA 20. You have confirmation about bullish trend, we need bars move above SMA 20. So far, it is below, still bearish, still bearish trend. It is bullish for equities. Let's move to NASDAQ. NASDAQ triple Qs, right? Triple Qs, daily time frame. Daily time frame, triple Qs. Let me... Uh, last bar still below all moving averages except 100 and 200. Yesterday it did touch the SMA 100. Today it did kind of bounce. SMA 100 strong support line. And last bar still disconnected from SMA 20, it can bounce. <clears throat> it was 85% chance that it could bounce yesterday or today, but it didn't. Actually, it did today. It did today 1%, right? It did today 1% green day. Uh, it was 85% chance and it happened. Now it is still bearish, still bearish trend on all indicators. Four hours time frame, same story, last bar below all moving averages except 200, bearish trend. One hour time frame, same bearish trend, SMA5 did bullish crossover, you see bars four hours ago, they touched SMA20 and they were rejected, they were rejected. SMA5 ready for bullish crossover, I still believe it can bounce, even it can bounce, it was very oversold, right? An oversold territory. Maybe it will continue bearish trend because it's SMA 100 ready for bearish crossover over 200. We still have multiple gaps above. It can bounce to fill the gaps. But so far, trend is bearish. On one hour time frame, it's getting positive, but not a uh, confirmed bullish reversal, not confirmed yet. VXN volatility index for NASDAQ today minus 7%. Still in the bullish territory. It has bearish divergence. It's a bullish for equity for NASDAQ. SPX SP 500 plus 1% also daily time frame. It did bounce from SMA 50. SMA 50 strong support line. Still left two gaps above and still bearish trend. Four hours time frame, last five bars, they were dancing at SMA 100 level and it was bounced from SMA 100 level. Still in the bearish territory, still bearish trend. One hour time frame, 
SMA5 did bullish crossover over SMA10 and even over SMA20. Last bar above SMA20, it is bullish territory. Now it's a bullish crossover, bullish territory. Will it bounce to fill this gap? We'll see next week. So far, it is in a bullish territory. Weeks volatility index minus 11%. Usually, if it's over 10% negative, it means 85% chance Monday or Tuesday S&P 500 will be negative. Uh, weeks, yeah, weeks still bullish, has bearish divergence, but still bullish trend. Dow Jones. Dow Jones plus 1.5%. Daily time frame, nice bounce. SMA5 did bearish crossover, it did bounce, and now it's back above all moving averages. If possible, it could be a bull drop. We'll see, we'll see next week. Now it's in the bullish territory. Four hours time frame, same story by signal. SMA5 did bullish crossover over red line, and last bar above all moving averages. RSI and Fikonacci did bullish crossover, bullish reversal trend. One hour time frame. Last bar still just moved below SMA5 last two hours, but still above all moving averages, still in a bullish territory, bullish trend. IWM, Russell 2000, one hour time frame, last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend. Looks like it was, it was, yeah, it's, it did already double top. Recent double top, we'll see, and it has bearish divergences. Let's see, four hours time frame. Yeah, it's building double top with bearish divergence. That's what we can observe. Still bullish and daily rate. It will make a double top, bearish divergence, and it will start reversal from that double top. Yeah, still bullish, but be careful. It, it can continue bullish so far to make a double top bullish trend rvx volatility index also positive you see daily rvx volatility index for russell 2000 also bullish something lies right rvx bullish volatility index and iwm bullish apple positive plus quarter still last bar below sma 5 10 and 20 still bearish trend on daily time frame for apple Four hours time frame, last bar below SMA 20 and 50, still bearish trend. One hour time frame, SMA 20 yellow line did bearish crossover over 200, bearish trend. Last bar below all moving averages, bearish trend. Uh, Tesla, one hour time frame, it was, it did gap down, huge gap down and did sideways, right? It did sideways and bearish crossover, SMA 20 did over 200, it is bearish setup. Four hours time frame, same, bearish crossover, bearish trend with huge gap down and daily, still huge gap down and for last three days sideways. But it did bearish reversal trend. Bearish reversal trend, right? Nvidia. Nvidia positive today plus three quarter percent daily time frame still last bar above all moving averages. I'm sorry. Last bar still below all moving averages, except 100 and 200. It is bearish trend. Let me maximize it. It's too small. It's left get two gaps also about the all indexes and equities they left multiple gaps about like two gaps about uh it can bounce to fill these gaps absolutely possible still bearish trend for hours time frame bearish trend same lies bar below all moving averages except 200 bearish trend one hour time frame last bar below all moving averages bearish trend Microsoft, one hour time frame, SMA5 with bullish crossover over 10 and 20 bullish crossover bullish trend. 
last bar below the SMA20. It is, yeah, it's getting palliative. It's trying to recover. I'm already, Microsoft was plus 1.65%. Bullish crossover still in the bearish territory, right? And four hours time frame is a sideways at SMA200 level. Still, still, uh, in, yeah, in bearish territory. Daily time frame for Microsoft. Still bearish trend, last bar below all moving averages except 100. Amazon also positive plus one and a half percent. Last bar below all moving averages, bearish trend below except 200. Right? Bearish trend, four hours time frame, same last bar below 200, bearish trend, and one hour time frame. One hour time frame, it did bullish reversal. SMA5 did bullish crossover over 10 and 20, and bars about 20. It is positive. Google. Google is trying to get above SMA10, but it didn't make it. Bearish trend, multiple gaps above. Four hours time frame, same bearish trend, last two bars. Stopped at SMA 200, could be strong support, it can bounce from it because last bar disconnected from SMA 20. Daily time frame, last bar also stopped at SMA 100, it can bounce to connect back to SMA 20. Bearish trend, meta plus 2.75%, almost 3% positive. Daily time frame, last bar below all moving averages, bullish divergence, it wants to it wants to get bounce, left gap also above bearish trend on daily. Four hours time frame, same bearish trend with bullish divergence on RSI. You see below it's a bullish divergence on RSI, <coughs> price action bearish. And one hour time frame, it's already did bullish crossover. Our SMA one, SMA five and ten did bullish crossover over twenty, and last bar about twenty it is bullish trend. Let's do summary. Dollar still kind of in the bearish territory, didn't fully confirm bullish reversal. All equities and indexes. On daily time frame, they are still bearish, no changes. On one hour time frame, they did bullish kind of reversal signal. Not powerful, not strong, just positive, just positive. And uh, all of them, they all left gaps down above the current position. Possible they can bounce next week to fill the gaps. We'll see. And yeah, even today they did positive. It will be should be sh short covering, right? Short covering. And we're still in the bullish mode, and all investors they are buying the dip. They buy every single dip. That's all. That's all from my end. Trend is still bearish. Let's move to my disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational and informational purposes only. Remember for educational purpose. We are using Paper Training Simulator. Thank you for watching Simple Training Style videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.